Today we're gonna to talk about my man purse. Yes, that's right, I carry a purse. I guess you can say that. Sometimes we joke about it, but um, I like to refer to it more as a haversack, okay? Um, so haversack, super traditional piece of gear used throughout time. This one is an oil cloth haversack. I'm gonna talk about what I carry in it because it might give you some ideas for when you go out scouting around for the day, or maybe you're just carrying your wool blanket into camp and you're still gonna need some gear. This thing will come in super handy for that. Um, we're gonna talk about all that stuff. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go through what gear I carry in my haversack. Now, if you've seen these videos before, um, I always slightly change it just a little bit, but this really has become a staple in my woodsman gear over the last 10 years. Like, if I'm going somewhere, even if it's in my truck, this haversack gets thrown in the back seat. If I'm going out into the woods, I generally grab this 90% of the time and have it slung over my shoulder. So, again, no specific order we're gonna do this in. Right now, I'm carrying a cup on the outside outside of my haversack. Number one, I think it looks cool, but uh, number two, I do have a drinking vessel, depending on where I'm going. Now, again, this is gonna vary person to person, situation to situation, but for me, where I normally travel, there's lots of fresh drinking water. I can boil in this if I would need, but I take a scoop, get a little drink, and I'm good to go. I've been spending a lot of time at a local state park because we opened a camp store there, so literally, I like I fill up at their um, wells, fill up, drink, and I'm good. So. Uh, I carry my cup on the outside. All right, so now on the inside, there is a flip cover. I open that thing up, and then the first thing I'm gonna pull out is my slip pad, which just is a foam pad that's covered in um, cotton material. It is waterproof that we sell. Um, these are great for kneeling down if you're gonna work. You can also take your shavings and shave onto this. You can sit on it. Lots of different cool stuff with this thing. Um, so I carry that. It doesn't take up much room, and they are sized to fit properly in here. Now I do have a T60 along with me because I've been trying some new setups and new things with this. This is our emergency shelter system. The lines, everything is built into this. Super packable and at least I have something like a rainstorm just went through. Luckily I was on a school property so I just jumped into the cabin. But if I'm out, I open this thing up, I wait out the 10 minute storm and then throw it away and I'm good to go. I'm like Not actually throw it away, but I uh, throw it back in the case and then away I go. <laughs> I have some bank line in here. You never know when you're gonna need some cord, so I have that inside. Uh, this is number 18, my favorite size. Now, I went ahead and sewed a little pocket into the top of my haversack. I do carry all the time in here my blanket pin. Um, so if I have my wool blanket, I can throw it around my shoulders and I just pin it up. That way I have another layer. I mean, summertime, I'm not using this thing. If all else fails, I could use it for an awl, even though I have one in here. But it's just like, that's where my blanket blanket pins out, I never forget. So if I need that anytime, it's in my haversack. And then I have just a small bag, and literally that's everything in there. Now there is stuff in the small bag, I'm gonna show you in a second, but that is everything I have, because I like to have extra room inside my haversack, so if I wanna throw something in here, like mushrooms, or if I find fire starting material, or if I have a cold beer, <laughs> I could stick any of that stuff in here, because I have enough room to carry it along. Now, in my little bag, this is sort of fire and utility all in one, okay? Again, no specific order. I have a large chunk of fat wood, one of my favorite fire starting methods with a ferrous searing rod, so I do have that in here. And then to go with that, of course, my ferrous searing rod. Now my ferrous searing rod that I carry in here, like most of my rods, it does have duct tape on the top, so if I need tape, I have that along. And then I have natural cordage here that I can take apart if I would need to make a bird's nest or something like that. Now as far as for striking this, my belt knife is gonna be my primary striker with this mechanism. Now going to the other end of fire making, um, we have some of our homemade fire starters here and a Bic lighter. You can't leave home without a Bic lighter. Like there, the triangle of fire is complete. I have fire. Good stuff, right? So we have that in there. I have a sharpening stone. I feel like I'm always hanging out somewhere and I like to just touch up my knife. So I have my sharpening stone I carry along with me there. I do carry a pencil, great for projects. This is just a carpenter's pencil so I can sharpen it with my knife. And um, if I need to draw lines or I need to draw a picture of myself, I mean, whatever you need to draw, it's great, right? So bushcrafters are always marking stuff up. 
I do have a pair of pliers in here. They have cutters on them. Um, these get swapped out with a multi-tool quite often. Okay, this just happens to be in here because this past weekend we had the women's class here and I knew we were gonna be making bark baskets. So I threw these in in case I pull needles through because um, I just feel like these are a little bit heavier duty to do that than my um, multi-tool. But either, listen, back and forth, whatever you want. And then I have a sewing kit, literally just needles and thread rolled up in a piece of um, buckskin, and I have a little antler awl. All right, so now that that total loadout is done, a couple things I wanna talk about with the haversack, just like tricks with it I think people overlook often. Number one, um, this is made from oil cloth, which is a wax and oil mixture placed on fabric, and then the fabric is constructed into a bag, so it is waterproof in a sense. Um, I know there's always like, is it water resistant, waterproof? I could dump water on this or be in a rainstorm, it does not get wet inside. Let's just put it that way. So what's nice about this is if I am carrying this separately, okay or I'm at camp I could take these few little things out keep them under my shelter or if I have a secondary backpack with me with larger like sleep items this can also work as a kneel pad or a sit pad okay so um, if I'm let's say I'm sitting on this I can use this for my shavings or collection of materials the top flap on the haversack then also has a little pocket in there now there is a downfall to that if you put big stuff in there like a multi-tool and try to flip it over generally it falls out doesn't work too well so what I tell people the primary reason for this top flap is to store tinder sources so if you're out and you find birch bark or you find bark um, from like a tulip poplar tree jam that stuff up in there it's typically light enough and you don't need to pack this super full but it's enough to stay up in there that when you flip it over it stays in place and you can carry it along and you're not getting the inside of your haversack totally a mess with all types of materials and then this last one's like a two for one type thing. So when I'm not carrying my haversack per se, um, and I have a backpack, I generally, okay, I'll take off my little toggle system, but I'll show you here. Um, I fold this thing up because it folds down super, super small. Okay, um, and I'll wrap it up nice and tight. And this thing stows away perfectly, minus my um, wooden toggle here for my cup. This thing stows away perfectly inside my other backpacks. So when I get to a location, I don't have to take my big backpack if I want to carry gear. I literally just open this thing up and whammy, I'm good to go. I can store all my gear inside here just for short little jaunts around wherever I'm at. Now, because you take this in empty, um, you can also take this out empty and use it for collection. I know a lot of guys, even my instructors, even Sarah, so girls too, um, that take out their haversack with nothing in it when we go out on walks and they load it up with their materials and bring it back that way. So super heavy duty for that. Um, another thing with this, because it packs down small, you might carry your food in with this. Okay, when you're done with your food, there's nothing in it. You can pack it back down nice and small, stick it away in your backpack, and you'll be good to go. So lots of different options you can use with that thing that um, it's like outside the box thinking, pretty common sense, but I thought, hey, sharing it with everybody might give somebody some cool ideas. Um, so this is just something that I really fell in love with. I wanted to share it with everybody, show you what I'm carrying with it. I know students and staff that work here alike, they all find it super useful, so maybe you will too. Um, if you like them, we do have them on our website. You can go check them out. If you don't like them, all right, well, don't carry it. Maybe you got some good ideas with the gear or make your own even, right? Super bushcrafty to go make your own. I know I made my own in the past, and uh, that's always an awesome time. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe and like button, all that good stuff. Check us out over at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. Gear, merchandise, our um, school classes, all that good stuff. And uh, until next video, stay in the woods.